Hi, I'm Antonia. This is Universally Me. First off, please click here to subscribe. It's super quick and easy and would really mean the world to me. A lot of people ask me if there are any books about the Lemley family and more specifically, obviously, if there are any books about Carl Lemley. The answer is mostly no. A lot of books will have maybe a chapter about Lemley and Universal. A lot more books will just have like a sentence or two about Lemley and Universal, which really kills me considering, you know, the influence that he had on the industry. But a lot of people just seem to gloss over that. Actually, a story, this is a true story from my life. I was in a film class and our textbook had just a sentence or two about Carl Lemley. And the professor was kind of just skimming over the textbook to let us know what, what we needed to know and study and, and what we could skip over. And he literally said aloud, blah, 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 oh, Lemley, Florence, Lawrence, Universal, you don't need to know any of that, don't worry about it, and kept going. And I was just sitting in my chair like, ugh, like, no, we really should know about this, but I, I didn't say anything, I didn't do anything, I just let it go. And I guess somebody at some point must have told him, you know, about my family history and, and sort of who I was. And a few days later, he actually called me out in front of the entire class, apologized for skipping over that stuff, and then played one of my videos in front of the whole class, which was a little bit embarrassing, but did, you know, more than make up for skipping over it a few days earlier. So anyway, I digress. There is one book written exclusively about Carl Lemley. It was written in the year 1931 by John Drinkwater and it is called The Life and Adventures of Carl Lemley. The book was actually commissioned by Carl himself. So he chose the author, he chose the stories that were going in. I think he chose Drinkwater because he had gotten a lot of attention for his story of Abraham Lincoln. So it just seemed, I guess, like a good fit to him. It does have a lot of good stories. It talks about his childhood in Laupheim and Ekenhausen. It talks about moving to the United States, getting, you know, started in film. And it has a whole chapter of the trust bust and Edison. And it also talks about Universal and his business practices and what he thinks thought made for a successful studio, a successful business, his morals and ethics. So all of that I think is is really interesting. It's definitely, I don't want to say biased, but again, it's the stories that he chose and it's how he described them. So I do wish that there were maybe a more neutral party in this, but this is the best source that we have in, in terms of talking about his life and chronology and what happened happened when and that you know makes it really good in itself. There's also a lot of good pictures in this book actually of his family, his parents and his kids, friends and celebrities in it. I know Mary Pickford and Charlie Chaplin are in here. It's cool for that and then obviously as as his relative and somebody who's very interested in all of this. It's cool for me because I get to learn more things that I have in common with Carl. So I learned in this book that he was an avid poker player, as am I. And I mean, I already knew he was 5'2", so am I. I liked too, it really sounds like his mind is kind of always going, always working. And I feel like mine is that same way. He obviously has more success than I do, but I'm still young. So I like to think that maybe by the time I'm his age, I'll have figured it all out and I'll have it all together. I don't think that you can buy this book in stores. I don't think it's, you know, still in print or anything, but there definitely are some copies for sale online. I definitely encourage people to, to read it. And um, if you are gonna read it or if you have read it, let me know what you think about it. Um, Cause I'd be curious to hear more, just more opinions on the way it's written and what it says about his life. And yeah, that's about it. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Antonia Carlotta and thanks so much for watching. Bye.